Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create a nav bar for the logged in users. So let's get started. You can see here the Angular application. Let's go to app component.ts and here I'm going to initialize a variables that is a is employee logged in and the is admin logged in. It will be a type of a boolean and in this I'm going to assign the value of the method from the storage service. So let me call here the storage service and the method that is a is employee logged in. After this, I'm going to call here the method from the storage service that is a is admin logged in. After this, I'm going to add here the constructor where I'm going to inject the router. After the constructor, I'm going to add here the ng on init lifecycle hook. So let me call here the router dot events dot subscribe. And here I'm going to call a variable that is a is dot is employee logged in. And here we need to assign the value of the method from the storage service. So let me copy the method from here. And after this, we have a method from the storage service that is a is admin logged in. Let's go to app component dot html. Let me copy this tip. Let me paste after that. And here I'm going to update the navbar title that is a admin. And after this, this navbar for the employee. So let me update the title and then it will be an employee. Let me update the nav links button. First, we have dashboard and second, we have logo. On the logout button, we need to call a method from the app component.ts that is a logout. So let me add here the event that is a click. And we need to call a method from the app component.ts that is a logout. And first button we have dashboard. Let me update the path of the admin dashboard component, and it will be a slash admin slash dashboard. And for the employee, it will be a slash employee slash dashboard. Let me copy the method name. Let's go to app component.ts. And here I'm going to call a method from the storage service that is a logout. And after this, we need to navigate the user to the login page. So it will be at this dot router dot navigate by URL. And inside the codes, we need to add the path for the login page that is a slash login. Let's go to UI. We can see all the nav bars for the logged in and the not logged in users. We need to show this nav bar when the user not logged in. So let's go to app component dot HTML. And here I'm going to add the condition. Here we need to check if the admin and the employee are not logged in. Then we need to show this. Let me copy the condition. Let me paste here inside the div. And here we need to check if the admin logged in. Then we need to show this navbar. Otherwise, we will show here the employee navbar. So it will be a is employee logged in. So this is the functionality of the dynamic navbar for the logged in users. Let's go to UI. And you can see here, we are currently on the login page. Let me log in here to admin. It's navigating us to the admin dashboard and the navbar is also changed for the logged in admin. Let me click on the logout button and here I'm going to log in the employee. And you can see here the nav bar for the logged in employee and it also navigating us to the employer dashboard. So that's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can do comment. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.